to her two weeks or three weeks ago that uh, he should uh, do a personal reading and personal interpretation yeah, okay. of this a terrible book <laughs> based on her experience. And yeah. now we have Nicola. Okay. Please stand for us. So Luz and Tara are really important people. Um, they offer a lot of justifications for doing crazy things, but are also quite like artistic in, in the way that they write. Well, so Anti-Oedipus is about, um, yeah, it's, it's a, a way to um, disseminate society um, based on um, kind of desire and materialist. So we, we work with, we, we interact with each other and objects through desire. So, and, and, and how, how desire gets put through is like, we're, we all become organs in a machine. Like and then and then we form circuits. So so and desire is the thing that passes through all that. So so we've got uh, so we've got organs like in a fluid movement that are interacting with each other through desire. Then there then there are also bodies without organs, which are empty things that don't have desire and are like deserts and or it's in a capitalist society, it's like capital, like it's, it's a, a, the body without organs is a result of, um, is a result of the desire, um, but maybe I'll go into that a little bit later. The thing that defines food, like that defines the fluid is like a break, like an interruption. So that, like, and that's like in a circuit. If anyone knows, like electricity circuit, you have all those little things that break the circuit. So then the D and D come through with like three ways that the circuit can be conjunctive synthesis is like additive, disjunctive synthesis is like. Um, uh, is, is when it cuts off something and the residual one is like when something residual gets produced in the, in the connection like, like waste or basically I want to do an activity where we create a circuit so I want to get people to think about objects and, and their function and how how um, they relate, but the, the thing is, like, the Lewis and Katari use, like, a rhizomatic thinking, like, um, where, where we think, in, not, we don't think in straight lines. So, um, and we think, so, a bicycle isn't just a bicycle, like, a bicycle is, so, instead of a bicycle just being a bicycle, this is how a bicycle can relate like with our desires. So um, so but a bicycle can arouse arouse sexual desire or excitement. This is my bicycle. Yeah. Okay. So So this is trying to be a figurative representation of rhizomatic thinking as well. Just so you can have a more like practical understanding of how how to think when you're reading the blues and guitar. Basically, I guess that means like a bicycle is involved in our our, our modern cultural narrative. Um, in ET. In ET, yeah. So ET, of course, is a great example of that. So we'll have ET phone home. on the bicycle. Okay, so the b bicycle is commonplace, so the bicycle is everywhere. This is not the only bicycle, there's ones outside as well. So basically, they're everywhere, and I'll try and maybe I'll use the bicycle. 
I'll just connect this to another glass of glass. Yeah, the nearest one there in the corner. The nearest one in the corner. Okay. is an unmarried man. Wow. Yeah, so that's why people keep on asking me if I'm married. <laughs> um, okay, so it kind of relates to sexual desire, which is over here. So it's got to put it in, link it a little bit like this. And then, but unmarried, of course, brings in all these kind of social norms and just like the sexual desire, which is primal. So we've got unmarried, which brings in like society and um, part of like, part of the despotic society is introducing like polars, like good and bad. Unmarried, married, good, bad, blah, 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 society. So, so this is an example of a desire in a despotic society. A despotic desire. Okay. Um, next. Bicycle is a branch of metaphysics dealing with the nature of being. Basically, that's, I guess, the whole idea of materialist, um, psych materialist, um, materialist philosophy, basically where, um, where objects actually exist and are an, 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 an expression of our own mind. It, it's there. So being, it exists, it's there to, to, because it is. And it's not just there because we see it, it's there independent and alone. So, I don't know exactly how to um, represent this with a word, except for like to be, mm, so it exists. It exists outside of everything, outside of my mind. Maybe I'll just, just to be paradoxical about it, I will, um, I'll attach it to my, my head, so then, you know that it's actually, it does actually exist outside of my head. It's nowhere. With the bicycle, it gets nowhere. Like, it deals with the non-functionality of an organ, like of, a, of an organ in the machine. So this is like, when you say the bicycle gets you nowhere, it becomes like the body without organs. Did you use like uh, um, an example of, of a baby vomiting? as an example of the three kinds of synthesis that we talked about before. Um, so then, so the first being like the baby is like drinking the mother's milk and then being disjunctive is like separating from it and, and the vomit of course being the residual. Um, but um, so then, this puke in my mouth thing is about Dance across the room, now it's time to dance You sneak behind, don't mind I guess Until you're done, so my cocktail dress Cold as ice, yet you advance And say you might jizz in your pants And I puke in my mouth Swallow it back, I need some room Plus I said I've got a groom I turn away, you start to pout And I puke in my mouth You ruined my night, esophagus hurts Take a hint, I'm not here to flirt Round up the girls, it's time to bounce Now I'll go brush my teeth uh, female puke in my mouth, kind of redoing, remixing of, of, of that. So like, of course, like remixing and regendering and all that kind of thing, that's really, that's at the limit of our, of our desire.